All right, everyone, welcome back. <laughs> All right, took a little break in the shade. Uh, had an ordeal with my red mini, that's why I'm taking the uh, the uh, step through here. Just just put it up against the wall and just set it in place here. Just give myself a little seat. All right, uh, let's get going. Let's see how the battery. This one's still working. Yeah, still working. Don't know what's up with my Rad Mini. The uh, it said 30, maintain 30 or 30 maintain. Something's wrong with the controller, I think. Anyways, I have a backup controller, so I'm using the throttle right now, just throttling. that curb. Okay. <laughs> All right. Going to pick up the food. So <laughs> I'm down to one electric bike. My Red Rover is out of commission. Now my Red Mini is out of commission. All I have left is the Red Mini step through. Man, both of those bikes are only two years old. The Red Rover, I jackknifed, so uh, that explains that one. The Red Mini, I always had a, I always had an issue with the controller. I think the controller, it was just a matter of time before the controller would uh, die out on me, but uh, I have uh, another one. How you doing? Good, I got need two. There's two in here? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. Yes. And the and the food bank line is gonna be here tomorrow, right? Yes. yes. That's okay. nine to eleven. Okay. Yeah, in the front, that's right. All right, thank you. Yeah, the food bank is going to be here tomorrow as well. So the food bank's going to be here tomorrow. And uh, so I'll be going to that. That's why I'm not actually going to ride the bike tomorrow. I'm going to come here in the morning, get breakfast for the kids. Whatever the kids don't eat, we end up eating. It really helps on the food supply. That way we don't go through our grocery supply. Uh, we can last uh, quite a while. I think uh, with the school food, breakfast and lunch on the weekdays, we were able to go three weeks before we had to go grocery shopping again. Even though we loaded the, gro the uh, refrigerator, we packed the refrigerator, but you know, when you're feeding four people, it, it, it goes pretty fast, faster than you think. It really does. So we ate most of our food on the weekend. So tomorrow, they'll be having a food bank over here, 9 to 11. I'll be going to that. I'll make a, uh, I'll do a ride along. I'm assuming it's just gonna be a drive through. They'll just pass the food through the uh, car. So uh, yeah, food security has been an issue lately. I know some of the uh, meat packing plants had to shut down. They uh, essentially been nationalized by the uh, government under the Defense Act, National Emergency Defense Act, whatever it's called. Trump just signed it. You know, you want you want stability, and in order to maintain stability, you want. Uh, you, you gotta feed the people. You, you don't feed the people, then they'll start rioting, protesting. 
doing all sorts of weird stuff. So they're giving away food. We'll take it. We'll take it. You know, when it comes, if they're going to give away food or a gun or ammo, okay, I'm taking it. I'm taking those things. Those are, <laughs> those are really high on my list of things to uh, procure. Uh, food especially, obviously food. You know, whether there's a pandemic or not, that's always uh, top on your list. But uh, now, because we're in a pandemic, ammo and guns, if you, they're giving away ammo and guns, which and nobody's giving away ammo and guns right now. Matter of fact, I went to, uh, I checked out the uh, Academy, uh, Academy Outdoors and Sports, Academy Sports and Outdoors and Sports, uh, I checked out their uh, website to see what their what it looks like on the ammo and the guns. All their guns are sold at MSRP, okay? So they're or, or right above it, right just below MSRP. But they're 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 all highly priced, okay? The ammo is uh, higher in price. It usually is after after. Uh, after the holidays, usually the price of ammo goes back up to whatever normal, but it's it's a little bit higher than usual. Higher than usual. So there's definitely an ammo shortage. You don't see nobody's nationalizing the uh, ammo companies, making sure that everybody has enough ammo. <laughs> That's probably the last thing. That's the last thing the government wants <laughs> for you to have more ammo and guns uh, so uh, if you have yours good if you know how to build if you know how if you know how to build your gun that's good too if you can buy the spare parts I, I don't think I, I personally don't think we won't need it that's why I'm not freaking out but I do have at least the basic supplies of self-defense security got a got a few rifles you know So, uh, and uh, the, what are the types of ammo do I have? I have like three types of ammo. I, I really only have about three types of ammo. Okay, I got the 22, the 223s, two, two, and, I, and, I, and I prefer the 223s two, two, because they're cheaper, right? Because I'm not looking to go through armor. I'm not going to pierce through armor or do anything crazy like that. Uh, so, 22 long rifle, 223s, Remington, and uh, 9 millimeter. Those are the three basic ammo that I carry, other than maybe a 357 or 38 special for my revolver. That's about it. You know, I don't, I don't need 40, 45, 380. You know, I don't need any of that. Just what I have is sufficient for security. All right, I'm not like gonna. I'm not out here to take someone's house or, or take a hill or some property. All right. Let's see what kind of traffic I'm looking at. I'm going to go. Okay. Looks like they're working on a pipeline or drainage. I think it's going to be a pipeline. If you ask me, that's why steel. Usually something like this, they, they're doing it for a pipeline. Natural gas, most likely. Anyways. So, if, you know, when it comes to ammo, like, I usually uh, have a whole bunch of 22s. 22s are cheap. That's the ammo last resort. Like, if you were, or it could be the ammo first resort, depending. But 22, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't want to get shot by a 22. Even though I have body armor and everything, you know, you get a, you get a right placement shot on a 22, you can go down. <laughs> you know, you can go down. Like body armor doesn't cover everything. All right, your face is still exposed, or your throat, your neck. Just because you got body armor doesn't mean you're invincible. Your legs. I mean, you could be, uh, you could be uh, incapacitated 
or severely restricted in your movements, you get, you know, immobilized with a 22. So uh, don't knock 22 and you can get a whole bunch real cheap. So I do have some 22s. Of course, that would mean I have like rifles and guns for a 22 long rifle, of course. And then uh, 9mm, 9mm, uh, same thing. I have uh, a carbine, 10 inch carbine. It's a pistol, but you know, if, uh, if if everything goes sideways, you just put a put a buttstock on, and you're you're good. Either way, it, you'll you'll get a you'll get some good range out of that uh, carbine on a nine millimeter. So got some of those, and then of course the two two threes. I don't have any pistols in the two two three Remington. All right. I think the, the lowest, shortest barrel I would go is 10 inches, but that's it. So other than that, I got a 16 inch rifle, AR-15, just a, I got, I got several. The barrel, yeah, it's important. I mean, you could, you could get an upper, get any length of upper. The lower is what you really want on all the parts because then you can start swapping out stuff and have extra parts. You can even make your own gun if you wanted to. You can build it. I got an 80% lower polymer 80. I got a backup of that one. It works. And other than that, I mean, that's, that's it. My 357 uh, Magnum. 357 Magnums for my revolver. That was my first gun, that's why I, I have that ammo, but it takes it takes a 38 as well. So I think I'm pretty much covered. I'm pretty much covered. I got all the most popular ammo types out there. But right now it's really hard to find any, uh, I don't know if it's, in, if it's hard to find ammo. It may be, everything may be back to normal. As far as the food shortage, um, we did, or my wife did go to HEB, to our local grocery store, which is only five minutes from where we live. That's where we went. We didn't go like shopping around or anything. Uh, if they don't have it, then we'll go somewhere else. But they had most of what we wanted. She told me that, uh, the meat, now this is during where all the meat packing, like 10 or 13 meat packing plants, uh, <laughs> meat packing plants closed down. Apparently the, there was plenty of meat. Oh man, we, we bought hot wings. We, the little tiny drumstick hot wings. That's my favorite. I don't like the wing wing portion. I like the drumstick wing portion of it. So that's what she got. And we had uh, fried chicken, fried hot wings. Oh man, it was great. We cooked it all up. We ate it all up. It's been a long time. For a while, they only had like chicken breast. And she got some other stuff. The only thing she said that was like missing was the butter. The butter was empty. The butter, uh, she couldn't get any butter, but we had butter. But then she said that's the only thing that was out of stock was the butter. So I'm like, all right. So I guess for now, things are better. Uh, the limit, they re, uh, they lifted some of the limitations on products. So we could buy more than two, you know, one gallon milk jugs. Uh, so they they lifted a lot of the, HEB lifted a lot of the restrictions. They extended their hours. So uh, I don't think for us here in Texas, out in Houston, where I live, that the food supply is not an issue. But I think, uh, Maybe for some of the areas that are close, immediate, uh, close 
to the meatpacking plants, maybe some of those areas, they're, uh, they're having some issues. But right here, no, not an issue. Of course, that was Monday. Today is Thursday. I don't know what it's like now. We, we're not going to go shopping for another three weeks or maybe two weeks. So we're really limiting our exposure to do anything. You know, if you if you limit your exposure to other people, your chances of uh, getting infected of the coronavirus or any virus or any cold greatly reduces down to nearly zero. And since I don't work, there's no need for me to go back to work. My wife is working out of the house. The kids are in school. And I want to keep it that way. All right, Pelosis 5, Gear 7. I'm on... Uh, Two bars are missing, uh, three bars, three bars remaining out of five total bars. So, bike is quiet, quiet. So as soon as I get back home, I'm gonna find out what's going on with the Red Mini. I suspect it's the controller. I'll go ahead and email Red Power Bikes and send them a video and see what's going on with the that code code 30 maintain i'm not sure what that means it's on obviously it turns on then it turns off so uh, i i think it's the controller i always had a problem with the controller from the get-go the lights didn't work they sent me a new controller i just been holding on to it until this controller dies out so i think it's that time again that time of the year I have to swap out the controller. I bet you that's going to fix my problem. I might do that without Rad Power Bikes, or I'll, I'll, I'll email Rad Power Bikes as well, but I'll also put in the new controller and see if that works and see what their response is. I'll probably uh, swap out the light or the, uh, the rear view mirror from the Red Rover onto the Red Mini. I've been saying. I keep saying I'm going to do that, but I never do it. Anyways, might as well do it today. Yesterday it was raining. Didn't ride the bike. But today is beautiful. Oh, look at that sky. That sky is so blue. So blue. And not too much pollen in the air. Cool breeze. Not very humid. Man. Whew. Not a lot of traffic. I guess that's one good thing about the coronavirus. Or maybe not, because there's a lot more, a lot more uh, pedestrians and cyclists around. But anyways, we can all share the road. It's not, it's not that heavy as you see. I'm not trying to break any records. I'm just, you know, I'm just going with the cadence. This, uh, the seat post is too short for me, so I don't want to. I don't want to ache my knees. I've been wearing the uh, AR-500 body armor and doing push-ups and squats and and doing uh, some pistol drills with my uh, Taurus G3 with the laser G sight using the laser hit app. Really fun. If you haven't seen some, if you haven't seen some of my laser hit apps or laser dry fire apps, oh, there's some. There's a police, there's a sheriff up there with his lights on. What's going on? Is there two of them? Is there two or is there one? I think he's following the car. No, there's two. They have their lights on. I'm not sure why. They just have them on. They don't have the sirens blaring, so... Maybe it's not, a, not an emergency. See right there, a the constable and a sheriff. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, this guy is too far to the, oh, car accident. Oh, looks like someone got rear-ended. Little car accident here. That's all it is.
Anyways. <laughs> Well, something happened. I don't want to know. And there's somebody walking on the sidewalk. I might I think I could just go around. I'll just get on the grass. I should be okay. All right, just like that. The red mini can handle it. I didn't want to go too fast because I still got food in the front here. I actually like the bag. I like the rack and the basket and the bag up in the front because it has the suspension up in the front. So if it gets bouncy, it, it takes the bumps a lot easier. If I have the basket in the back, there's no suspension. It just bam, bam, bam. Just, just hits the, <laughs> just bounces around pretty good. Anyways. I'm almost home. Hopefully you enjoyed the ride along. I'm down two bars, three bars remaining. Been on pedal assist five, gear seven most of the time. Mostly uh, the, the gearing on the uh, on the step through is a lot better, so I don't have to push that hard. But uh, then again, the seat is lower as well. The uh, the wheels. I love the tires. The the slick tires. You can barely hear any noise. I wonder if you can even hear the motor. Anyways, please like, share, comment, subscribe. See you all later. Bye.